Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Here's my base. This is my base. Here's a tricky thing. Should I change the setting on my Roland because I'm using that amp sim? Mm. Well, it really depends on how the bass you... It sounds like. Woo! Uh, this should be a name for this effect. When you put on a different instrument and it just sounds and feels great. It just inspired you to want to come, keep on playing it. And I wish I could record more than 16 seconds at a time, it's just not enough. Fender Precision Bass is uh, serial 88, so it was made in 1988. It's pretty. She is lovely. I've had to do some uh, detailing. I've taken her to Japan and South Korea and Guam and back in reverse order. There's some uh, things that are missing from her. This is essentially uh, the condition in which I received her. The Robertson screw here, that doesn't belong. <laughs> yeah, been around. Definitely been around. Uh, the story behind Leah is that I had auditioned to be a bassist and a vocalist for a band in Mississauga. Uh, living in Etobicoke, so it was easy to get to there and back. Well, the band was a couple of Italian guys and a drummer. And uh, after some auditioning, uh, they were asking, what's your real voice like? Because I was just singing, and it was great. But I guess I sounded too good. Is that a thing? <laughs> I think they were just looking for some authenticity. And I knew how to play bass, and I knew how to sing. And I uh, did some Alice in Chains on a tape recorder, if you remember what that is. Uh, at karaoke for an audition. They loved it. They had this bass here. They were looking for a bassist because theirs had gone to the States. And they said, we've got this. They said it was worthless because uh, the neck was warped. And I said, oh, I could take it home, put new strings on it and see what we can do. And they're like, ah, sure, here you go. And I never saw them again. <laughs> they never invited me back. So I came out with a free bass out of it. There's a little controversy of how often you're supposed to change the strings. Uh, engineers will tell you to change them very often, and uh, if you're practical, changing strings is some, it's, it's just, uh, it's a chore. So they're cheap, but you should do it. And because it is a Fender, I've got a Fender cord. This is beautiful. I love this cord. It's so springy on stage. Good presence, looks fun, has excellent stretch. Uh, the sound is okay. I think it's got some difficulties with tone control. Volume. There's no difference. Woo! I have had to uh, take it apart one time in the middle of a... Well, it was uh, in between sets, but in the middle of a gig at the Old Sod with my band, The Thirst. And to tweak it and fix it, it worked. Uh, but uh, that's only because I had all the tools and I knew that preparation, right? Very important. Make sure you've got adapters and tools. Love doing bass chords. A tune. Tune. Chromatic tuner. Why do you play with gloves? I like it. 
feels good. It does get in the way. I don't have to play with the gloves. I like the look. Yeah. I just like it. I just like it. Uh, friends would go to me, Oh, we're playing guitar, we can play this song, that song, the other song, and since you know how to play guitar already, and you have a bass, you could be the bassist. And I would say, but I play guitar better than all of you. So I played bass because I could, and we needed a bassist. So I just did that. Uh, didn't stop playing the guitar, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I started picking up licks. Do I have any favorite licks? Um, uh, yeah, a lot. I will survive. And uh, what about playing with a pick? Uh, well, when you do Rush and Led Zeppelin and a whole bunch of other stuff, playing with a pick really starts killing the thumb. Um, so you could always just do fingers. And there's even a neat little thumb rest right here. Check it out. Uh, I'm playing bass and would sing. I would do it at the same time. Been days and confused for so long, it's not true. Wanted a woman, never bug. <laughs> Something I always have to be careful with though is because uh, I, I use my fingers for lighter strings, lighter gauge stuff. Uh, this is much heavier, so I can easily string fingers. <laughs> I love bending. Some of the things I do like to do is put on a chorus. Oh, woo, 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 woo. That's a reverb. Oh, you're in space. Touch of overdrive onto the bass. Makes it a bit dirty. And there's, of course, adding the turbo distortion. applications I've had playing bass in my musician hip was doing Jesus Christ Superstar. One, two, and that is also why I carry a whip with my bass case. Ah, we've been to Japan and back. Uh, when I got the bass there was no strap and uh, I was able to pick up a couple of spare belts found a Salvation Army and I put them together because I like the design mm, leather so good uh, I have got well it's kind of worn so I got a new one that's right oh just out of reach mm. so I picked up this new one here and it's nice and thick wide leather Oh, brand new. It smells like, it smells like a department store. Mm. So yeah, that's gonna feel nice. And this thing's pretty. It's it's heavy. It's the heaviest guitar I have, and uh, the strap's important, and the strap's gotta fit real nice. And mm, there's ways of holding it too. I think one of the craziest things I've done with my bass is rollerbladed with it in Toronto. I got to the point where I can do several things at once while playing, and I challenged myself. And yeah, headphones, curly cord, connected to uh, a 9 volt battery operated squawk box, um, and that was connected to my hip. Very superstitious! 
difficult thing about the bass also is when you're playing next to a large speaker, I had a 50 watt amp, was it 50 or 100? Uh, I can't remember, a TKO, this, this big thing with a huge cone, uh, cost me 500 bucks. I uh, use your hearing. And I remember times when I'd be gigging and I'm singing, I'm playing, but I don't know if I'm playing like a A or A sharp, like, or even a E, oh, you know if it's an open string or not, but I, you just can't hear. And back in two, 2002, doing Jesus Christ Superstar, I listened to it. My brother's like, ah, uh, you got the notes and you've made like all the note names underneath everything, but you need to listen to it to figure it out. And I did. Reading the notes is one thing, uh, but finding out where it's best here is another. And not knowing how the music's really supposed to go by not listening to it, this makes it much I'm um, doing this video now for the past 15 minutes, my fingers really limbered up. I do like bass chords. Ooh, crunchy. extra speaker wires and whatnot. So that's my introduction to you about how I do bass and what fun I've had and where it's led me. I'm going to listen and take a look at all this stuff and then see what's good, what can be stitched together. Okay? First time. <laughs>